Hey gamer, today we're going to be finding the best freestyler in Rocket League. A few weeks ago, eight of the best freestylers in the world were invited to a tournament where they're competing for $10,000. Each freestyler has 20 seconds to show off their skills and score a goal where they can do whatever they want. Because Rocket League is a game with nearly unlimited options, so it all comes down to pure skill and creativity. Cool. Four resets, musty. Uh -huh. Five Wait. resets. There we go! Whoa. I was on the judges panel along with four other judges where we rate each shot one through 10. Each player has 10 minutes to get the highest possible score and the winner moves on to the next round. First up, Faith versus TX. TX has to be the one. He needs to step up. And I really like his way to go for those like jump resets. Like he oh. just jumps into, like flips into oh. it. Oh, what a must be. Very clean. Okay. The first shot from TX started with a wave dash flip reset where he keeps the ball up, gets another reset, Musty flicks it to the backboard where he gets yet another reset for a double touch. All this for a 37.7. Next up, Faye. And I'm sure the people would love to you know, vote and just give their opinions because everyone has one. I don't know. It. Or, oh, wait. Five. Oh, oh is this helicopter Musty, man? Oh, Holy! He jumps to the ceiling, then back down where he gets a helicopter reset, and another one, and another one, and another one. And finally, a MacTuff reset, which is extremely difficult, and he finishes it with a musty flick. This scored a 45.5, so we'll see Faith in the semifinal. But next up, we have Flitz versus Josh. What's that? I feel his pain. Uh, why? I feel his pain, bro. Yo, musty why fell the off a cliff. <laughs> oh, man. Another classic ceiling to plan B set up here. Triple to oh, wow! What the? How was that a reset? First up, Flitz starts with the ball in his corner, lands on the ceiling, and then does what freestylers call a plan B, which is basically where you land on the front corner of your car while simultaneously popping the ball up using the back corner. And he ends up regaining control, doing a musty flick, and gets not one but two resets and flicks it into the net, which gets him a 40.8. Next up, Josh. You know, they mess up a shot using your token, you can easily redo it. You get two turns in a row. It Two, Mac Cuff, three. Ah! Oh! Wow! Oh! Wait. He pops the ball out, immediately getting a musty flick all the way to the ceiling, followed by three flip resets and a crazy finish to pop the ball up. This shot ended up getting a 37.7, which isn't mm -hmm. enough to take down flits. But next up, we have Letho versus Trap. Start with something a bit simpler, and then he, if he wants to, then he could go for the mute. Oh, the grab then? The boss is going to be a yoke lag. Did he, do you think he meant to do that exactly? Where it curves up the wall like that? Uh, I doubt, honestly. But... Double? Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? What? From his own half, Letho jumps off the ceiling, uses his flip to ground pinch it, and after the ball rolls up the wall, he catches it in midair, followed by two more flip resets and a flip right below the crossbar. This is going to be the last minute. Yeah, now would be a great time for Trap to use the general insurance token if he doesn't get the shot. Either this shot or the next one. I think if I were him, I'd use it right after this. Unless he pops off, which he quite literally... Okay. Let's go. Okay. Jeez. That was a great Dude. shot. Like, I feel like we should have reacted more to that. That was a fantastic shot. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like you just realized how many musty flicks were in there, and then you yeah, were like, yeah. wait, actually, it's going to be <laughs> way better now. To process, <laughs> Trap counters that with a flip reset to stall, and he uses his second reset to musty flick air dribble the ball. And after maintaining control, he gets two more flip resets, another musty flick, which is controlled enough to get one final flip reset before going in. Both shots were unique, but similar and skill. Wait, it was oh, the same! Oh, what? No way. What do we do now? We settle this exact tie with a rematch. <laughs> yeah. I, hate off a cliff. I hate to see it. I'm, two musties gone to wait. Oh, it was a big one. <laughs> two musties gone to wait. <laughs> Please save a musty flick for everyone. Ooh. Okay, yes, 10 it's seconds so to bring cute. it back. Six. Four. Four. Yeah. Three. There we go. Two seconds left. Wow. Trap ends up taking the W with a flip reset musty flick, and he uses his next reset to pinch the ball against the wall in a crazy fashion, which pops the ball up, and he brings it back to net with an air dribble and two flip resets, which got him a 39.8 and secured him a spot in the semifinal. Next up is Gappold versus Maktop. Just the flick was lacking with some speed. Yeah, the mustard was in there. Mm. How does he... I just don't understand how you, you wave that. <laughs> he did it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jason, can you explain that to me, bro? So, oh, wait, wait, let's wait, hold this on. Yeah, Holy yeah, yeah. pop with the mustache. Another Whoa! one, super Khalid. Jason, can, can, can you explain that the jump reset, like, one sentence? How do you, like, do that? You just need to jump towards the ball at the same time you go for the reset. So it does the little movement, and it kind of looks like you wave dash to the ball or off the ball. The first shot was from Gappled, where he jumps off the wall, gets a type of flip reset where he jumps off the ball. I thought this was super cool, and he does that twice. Then gets a musty flick to keep it up, then a flip reset, which he uses to get a really powerful musty flick, which scored a 43.9. Next up, with just a few seconds left on the clock, back top. I feel like if you get a clip on zero seconds, it makes it like that much more special too. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> there we go. Musty. This is horrible. Come on. Four yes. resets, musty. Oh. Five Wait. resets. There we go. Yeah. On zero uh, seconds? No on way. zero seconds? Yeah. Fuck about Clutch Factor. Maktoff had the guts to go for four heli resets, and he followed that by a perfectly executed musty flick to a flip reset, then a stall flip reset, and one last touch to pop it in. And this scored him a 44.6 to take down <laughs> Gappold at the very last second. At this point, it's the semifinals. Four players are left to compete for $10,000. First up, Faith versus Flitz. Skipping the last one. Still waiting for the first goal score. Oh, Demiri. Is he gonna go for it? Oh! He got it, Jason! He got it! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! What? Faith just did what's called a Muri pop, popularized by retired freestyler Muri. Essentially, if you get the perfect angle and time it just right, you're able to bounce the ball in a way that lifts up the front of your car, allowing you to aerial without even jumping. To show you just how hard this is, I made a training pack and tried over a hundred times and only got it once. It's one of the most difficult mechanics to learn in Rocket League, but Faith somehow executed it on the biggest stage of his career and used his jump to get a perfect musty flick, scoring a 44.4. Next up, Blitz. Yeah, thinking. Is this gonna be a cycle match? I, I wanna see him, I keep going. I think he's going for it for seven minutes. I feel like he'll hit a solid one. Cycles only. Wow. Top of the key. He starts to set up with a ceiling shot to plan B, which pops the ball into the air. And he catches it and uses his flip to score a musty flick double touch. This scored him a 40.3, and although it was insane, it wasn't <clears> enough <throat> for Flitz to make the grand final. But next up, we have Maktoff versus Trap. One, two, three. Musty. Keeps it off. Oh, to the ceiling. ceiling. Oh, no. oh, 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 shot there. Maktoff starts his setup with not one, not two, but three heli resets, and he's so low to the ground, but Musty flicks it all the way to the ceiling, which he jumps from to get a stall reset to the backboard and finishes it with another stall. What? This scored him a whopping 45.4. Next up, trap. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, he already has a 45.4. I feel like he kind of just yeah, by something new now, you know? Exactly. He's not, maybe a little out of his comfort zone. Oh, he's doing this. Oh my. The I love button. that setup. Yeah, man. look how perfect it is. Oh, oh no, my God. no, oh my gosh. no. That's dude. still clean. He starts the shot up with a creative setup off the post of his opponent's net. Air dribbles it across the entire map and does a wall flip thing he's known for to keep it in the air. Then he gets a flip reset to musty flick back across the map and finishes it off with a double touch. But unfortunately, Trap got a 43.2. So the grand finals is Maktoff versus Faye. Were you nervous? I was extremely nervous going into it. I did not expect to make it past the second round. No, so I wasn't actually nervous. I was just like happy with where it was. Just a 10 out of 10 shot. So now yep. like anything below a nine, they're not even close to happy with. Yep, just as I said at the beginning. <laughs> right, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was super Why confident. Not? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> From that very jump, I knew I was going to do a heli reset. I was supposed to just flip and do an air dribble, although it didn't work. Once I see the ball just going wide, I just know I can do that. Then the rest of the pops are, are just calculated. I'm not a big fan of that, Easy. to be honest. I'm going to go with like 7.8. Unlike you, I'm actually a pretty big fan of that. The, the fact that when the ball is kind of stuck and you have to use the resets to manipulate the height, 8.2, really solid shot. The difference between each touch uh, and their height was kind of Fun to watch. I said 8.1. So I went with a solid 8. No, yeah, solid shot. Solid shot. <laughs> that shot secured him a 40.5, but with 15 seconds left, Faith was still losing. All right, giving it back to Faith here. Whoa. Yeah, he, he, did. He, he counted that as a setup when he could have tried to do, turn it into something. Yeah. Two. Three. Jeez. 
four. Oh, no, no. Five. <laughs> okay. I wanted to try doing a front flip reset and then getting a back flip reset after that. I planned all that. And then after that, my car kind of went, not in a weird direction, but like I had an opportunity to get that fourth reset and then the fifth reset. Well, I mean, it's there. I guess I can take that. I feel a lot of pressure now. This is, this is a game changing a judge. Lot. I am a big fan of that. I'm going to give it an 8.9. I like all yeah. those different kind of resets combined together. I'll go 8.5 yeah. on this spectacular shot from Faye. I have 8.7. I went with a nine. Really, really enjoyed all the different resets in it. Wow. <laughs> this extremely creative setup got a 42.7, which won him the energy $10,000 freestyle tournament. Make sure to follow Faith using the links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay musty.